Lock Jed Holloway wasted no time in posting first points for Southern Districts in their match against Norths, brushing off some flimsy cover defence to score after just five minutes of play. But Norths hit back straight away. Dave Harvey stepping through the Rebels' defence as if it wasn't there, weaving his way with some fancy footwork before finding the leading try scorer in the competition, Corey Brown, who still had some work to do, but he did it for try number 12. With Souths pushing their lead out to 14-10, Corey Brown pushed a pass too far, and Waratah winger Atili Pakalini sprinted away, 21-10 to the Rebels. Harvey was once again involved just before half-time, and Will Brame's second half try gave Norths the narrowest of wins. It was three tries each, but the difference was Dave Harvey for Norths, scoring 12 points as the Shawmen win their fifth match in a row. It only took five minutes for Sydney University to post the first try in their match against Eastern Suburbs with a brilliant individual effort from fullback Angus Roberts. Uni scored a second try before East struck back with a try of their own through centre Elijah Nico in his first grade run on Dabu. Roberts scored a second try for Uni before Beastie's prop offer Fainga Nuku made a short charge to the line. Replacement Peter Beathan extended Uni's lead to 27-15 after scoring this try that East really should have stopped. Harry Bennett had to look right and then left for support before picking up Pauli Tomopio, who found the most unlikely of wingers in prop offer, who wasn't too worried about sidestepping his attempted tackler. Tomopio picked up a classic forward drive by backing up. Uni held on for a convincing 34-22 win over their local rival, with Eastern Suburbs handed their fourth defeat in as many weeks. Parramatta played great attacking rugby and won many of their games by shifting the ball wide and they did it again in their local derby against Penrith. 5-8 Tom Woods with the opening try after just two minutes. Penrith's style is a little more direct. Prop Toa Asa putting Penrith ahead 14-7. An early try in the second half shows that Parramatta prefer to go around their defenders rather than through them. Moses Tavola locks up the scores at 14 all. But again, Penrith take the shortest route to the try line. Junior Tavili levels the scores at 21 all. The contrast in attacking styles is shown again as Woods sets up a break for Essie Leota, who positions former All Black Sassini Anisi, who only joined the club that week perfectly. And Parramatta claimed the crown as Kings of the West. With two sides who are happy to throw the ball around, it's no surprise there were nine tries in the match, five to Parramatta, who claimed their sixth win of the season. 2012 has been a forgettable season for both Ramwick and Gordon, who occupy the last two places on the ladder. But with pride at stake, Ethan Ford carved a run to the line after just two minutes of play. The Highlanders conceded another three tries before scoring themselves. Then captain Tobias Gukabal took off on a damaging run, setting up Terry Preston. And suddenly, it's 26 all. A fairly harmless kick by Tim Wright suddenly turned into a game changer as Gordon's cover defence stumbled then fell, and somewhere in the mix-up, Apeola Tia got his hands on the ball for a try. Gordon went down and Preston scored the simplest of all tries, and trailing by two points, Ramick had one last chance to win, and Toby Brown nailed it. Ramick 34, Gordon 33. In the end, it was five tries each in the Battle of Coogee Oval, but Brown's boots separating the teams by the slimmest of margins. And in other results, Manly had to come from 12 points down to defeat Eastwood, while West Harbour claimed their fourth win of the year, accounting for Warringah. And so to the table after round 12 of the Shoot Shield competition, and it's the top eight teams which will make the finals. Eastwood narrowly over University, a two-point gap to Manly and a similar gap to Southern Districts. Easts, Norths, Parramatta and Warringah are the next four teams, with West Harbour the best of the rest, followed by Penrith, Ramwick and Gordon.